So, we all know that video have been a long form of documentation, and in many ways than one, we've all had videos that would love to enhance, colorize, or even upscale. And this is where the beautiful tool from the folks at AVC Lab comes in. AVC Lab Video is an easy to use AI powered Windows and Mac tool that offers features to aid in the recreation of videos from low quality black and white or green field videos to high quality ones. This simple to use video tool offers AI features which comprises of AI enhancement, face enhancement, colorize, and motion compression video, there is a premium version for enthusiasts who would like to download, play with this tool before purchasing. So if you proceed to go over to the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you can download both for Windows and for Mac. And how you get to work with this is as easy as firing it up and you would notice that you have a wonderful space that is just pretty simple. All it's asking you to do is either drag and drop the file that you like to work with or you can simply click on the browse button and select the file. So the very first video which we're going to test out is this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that, click on open, and you can see what kind of quality we have. The video footage which we just plugged in is a 640 by 480, and this is doing 24 frames per second. If we go over to the preset section, we can click on the drop down and select a particular kind of preset. At this point, we're going to start off very easily by simply selecting the upscale to high definition resolution. And once we select that, you would notice automatically it sets the video output the frame per second that we like to work with and select a specific AI feature. So at this point, it's looking at the AI enhancement and what it's selected is the standard. And of course, there's a couple of other ones that exist right here. So just in case you like to do noise or you like to get ultra multi frames, you can do that. So we're just simply going to stick to standard for now. If you do have faces that you like to enhance, you can click on this button and then you can enhance those faces. If you like to also colorize this, you can do that. But in this case, we already have colors here. So I'm just going to turn that off and turn this off since we don't have a face. So for slow motions, you can set this. If you'd like to also speed up the motions, you can also do the very same thing right here. So I'm just going to turn that off. And if you go over to the settings for the video, you can also choose to play with how much saturation you'd like to have and how much brightness you'd like to get in. Select the video file format that you need. In this case, we're selecting MP4 and the appropriate encoder that you like to use. And once you have this, the next thing which you need to do, select the output path and click on start processing. So you could see that with a simple click, this can start processing. At this point, you can tell how much frames that we have and you can see how much that is being processed at a given time. And with these two complete, you can tell that we have more visual quality in the processed one compared to what we have with the original one. And at any point in time, you're trying to edit these particular videos and there are specific parts you like to trim. There are trim tools that you can use to select certain parts and trim just those specific parts. It is quite impressive to see how this actually takes the full image and retains the color, but at the same time gives us a better visual quality. So now that we're done with that, we're going to take a look at the colorize feature. Now with the colorize feature, we will need to load in a black and white video and we can trim this video as we choose. So by simply scrubbing on the playhead, we can select the path which we like to start off and we can trim that and select the path which we would like the clip to end and trim that as well. Now once we're done, we can click on the apply button to apply that and we can also add multiple clips. So in this case, we can click on add button and add multiple clips to this, trim that as well. And you can see that we have two clips, which means that we can load multiple clips and get the AI tool to perform a specific set of actions across all of this. So since we like to have colorized, we can turn that on. And we do have some faces within these clips, which we've just loaded. We're also going to turn on the face enhancement. Instead of working with presets, we can actually select the output resolution and frame rate by ourselves. And with that done, we can go all the way down and click on start processing. So what would happen is this would process these two videos independently. So you can see how we went from black and white all the way to color. And you can use this for several videos and go directly from black and white to something that has a bit of color. So you can now tell what material or you can have an idea of what texture or color parts of the black and white image has. Although at certain times, these do not hold super fidelity. But then if you're looking at an old footage and you like to have an idea of what material, texture or colors that was used, then this is where the colorize feature from the folks at AVC lab would definitely come in very handy. And for video upscale, this is pretty simple. All you need to do is upload the video that you want. And in this case, you can simply go over to the upscale section and upscale this to 4K. Now with this, you can proceed to do any other settings that you want and hit on start processing. Now, once this is done, you can tell that the processed video has more visual fidelity compared to what we have with the previous video. Of course, when you get the closer look at them, you can now see clearly what the sign gauges are saying compared to what we had previously, which was a bit smushed and barely readable. 
The same thing can be said for the face enhancement. And in this case, we have a footage like this. So we do want just a small portion of this. So we're just going to trim the first part and the second part. Now, once we have that, we can click on apply to make sure that we have what we're looking for. And because we want to do the face refinement or the face enhancement, we can click and get this happening. Other things that we can do is we can go over to the preset section and we can set the upscale to either full HD. Now you'd also notice down here, we also have a couple of options which you can choose to explore as well. So if we set the upscaling to full HD, so we can select the given AI model. In this case, I'm just going to select the denoise. We can choose to include the motion compensation and also add some video settings to this. So for this particular one, I think we should just reduce the saturation because this is a little bit saturated. So we can reduce the saturation just a little bit like so, and we can increase the contrast maybe about something like that. In terms of brightness, we think this is a bit too bright. So we're just gonna put that all the way to a point like so, just to make sure that we have something that we can work with. If you like to deinterlace this, you can also turn that on or turn that off if you want. And finally, we have all the settings that we need and we're just going to hit on start processing. Now, with the start processing going on, because we did turn on the face refinement, most of the times this doesn't pay so much attention to the other parts because we have the face refinement turned on. But for the most part, the face is going to be way cleaner and more readable than what we have with the original video. So you can see already, if I simply click on this button to fit the boot models, you can see what we have with the original one and you can see the results that AVC Lab View Enhancer is giving us. So in this case, if you're thinking about restoring your videos or maybe you have a footage that you like to restore, compensating the video playback speed, upscaling the video or an overall enhancement of video files that you're working with, then the AVC Lab Video Enhancer AI tool is definitely one that you should consider taking a look at. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Of course, a huge shout out to the folks at AVC Lab for making this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.